Here we have plutonium-238 decays at the rate of 0.8% per year. How much of a 50 gram sample will be left after 25 years? First of all, this right here is just the name of a chemical. So the 238 is not going to be involved in our calculation. So you can just read the question as a chemical decays at this rate and how much do we have left after 25 years, okay? So because right here you talk about the um, rate per year, right? Increasing or decreasing, in this case it's a decay. So I'm going to begin with the formula A, which stands for the amount that we are going to get. And that's equal to A0, which is the initial amount, times 1 plus R raised to the t power. Whenever the question says increasing or decreasing at a certain rate per year, we use this formula, okay? So the A is what we're looking for, you know, the amount after 25 years. The A0, the A0, this is the initial amount, so that's the 50 gram. So let me put down the 50 right here. And then we open the parentheses, and it's always going to be the 1, because it's 100% in the beginning. But this time, what are we going to use for R? So let's look at this right here. It says it decays at a rate of 0.8% per year, right? First of all, the decay means it's going to be less and less, right? So we are going to have a negative rate. R, in this case, we are going to have a negative percent. And then here we have 0.8%. We need to write this as a decimal. And to do that, we are going to get 0 0.008 because we move the decimal point twice to the left, 1, 2. So you can imagine it's like this. Okay, 0 0.008, that's what we have. And this is the R that we have to use. Because the rate is negative, so when we plus the R, in fact, we actually end up with minus 0 0.008. Remember, we begin with this formula, but then we have to relate to the question the rate can be either positive or negative, depending on the wording that they are using. Decay means we are going to get less and less, so the R will be negative, just like this. Anyways, T is going to be 25, so we will raise this to the 25th power. And now the rest is just a matter of doing the computation. And I would recommend you guys to do this. Put down the 50, and then we work out the inside first. So if we do 1 minus 0 0.008, we are going to get 0 0.008. 992 and then we will take this raised to the 25th power and then you can just punch this onto your calculator and on the calculator it's going to give you the answer approximately speaking 40.904 grams okay that's the amount that we are going to get after 25 years and this is the answer choice a right here well, I guess it's just a coincidence that A is equal to this, and then we also happen to have choice A for that, but that was just a coincidence. Anyways, this is it.